Hello, Katya here, and today I have a bunch of new molds on my table. Yes, big new molds from Finnabare. I have large gears, look, and I have machine parts and also skulls and bones. And they are made with resin and I will make a composition with old brushes. And look at these amazing gears. And uh, I pick randomly out some items from uh, these molds and see if I can do something fun with them. They are really easy to use and you have gears in many different sizes. And you can use the molds over and over again. And here you can see me trying out like a composition. I want to do like a layering crazy mix of gears so I can hang it on the wall. And um, I love gears and I use brushes and some of them are well used and uh, a little bit dried instead. So take care of your brushes. And here I will glue everything with heavy body gel. Uh, it's a very strong gel and it works perfect to glue this kind of uh, items with each other. And you see me, I have the biggest uh, gears in the background, like a base, and I glue the smaller one on the, uh, on the up so it can be like stability. And you see I put one like down so it can stay, so it get the same height and I need to add something in the background uh, to give the same height and this will not show so I will only use like a piece of cardboard uh, on the background and I add heavy body gel to glue everything together. Um, yeah and I'll add like even a little bit more like ship old shipwood piece and trying out the composition again and to find the right items. And uh, that can be a, like a big struggle. And I have these beautiful uh, shipboards, mechanical flourishes from Finnabare. It's a totally new product and it's so amazing. Uh, you can find uh, gears and flourishes and different kind of flowers on them and a lot of gears, of course. And that's perfect. These small gears together with the bigger one that can make like an interesting comp composition. And here the flourishes make the composition more lively, unpredictable, perhaps. Yeah, and I want to do something with my old dry brushes. I'm a little bit sad, but you must need to take care of your brushes. Uh, so they not, uh, if you they you don't put them in the water, they will dry out. Here I also have the grandeur frames and I pick out some frames and uh, also a wing and want to add these to the composition to make it more, not only gears, uh, like different shapes and you see the skull and the bones uh, will make something. So I continue gluing. All we think to use the uh, biggest part first and then you will add the smaller parts. And in the mold set you can find like small screws and things like that. And that's perfect to add a little bit here and there. And if you have the heavy body gel a little bit outside, take a, uh, a brush and pull it off. Little bit texture on the product. So I'm adding graphite paste on my project. A uh, little bit here and there, 
not all or over everything. If you put over everything, the shapes will like disappear. Here I only try to add like the graphite paste uh, underneath and in gaps to fill out the gaps a little bit. And uh, I paint the grungy frame with white heavy gesso. And um, remember that if you want to paint over the molds, you need to give them like a one uh, coat of gesso. There are white like I'm using. There are clear. And you can only, yes, and only, uh, also do like I'm doing here, the black heavy gesso. Uh, and that helps if you want to paint over them or add like I will do the metallic flakes. But the gesso is a primer, but it works fine. But here I use the black for priming so I can paint over it and play if I have some colors. Here I have the skull and I will add like the a gilding glue and metallic flakes. I want to make me my skull totally in glue. Metallic flakes uh, you find a lot of in uh, art pieces and furniture but you can use them uh, on different way in your mixed media projects. Here I want to have a, a skull in gold and it's really gold. It's make big difference to have these metallic flakes against like um, metallic paint. This is really golden shine. When you have added the uh, gilding flakes, remember that you need to be dry a little bit. Because if you add the, the flakes a little bit too early, everything would stick on everything else would uh, expect for what you paint. So you must wait a little bit. You can use your heating gun or like I did, like adding like a little bit of air to wait to the gilding glue gets sticky. Otherwise you have the flakes on different places but not on the where you want to have it. I use the back side of the of my brush. You can use like a toothpick for a smaller project or a barbecue stick or something like that. Um, Try out what's, what's worked for you. Uh, I, you can also use like a tweezer if you like that. But I really find out that the brush works best for me. You see, I'm trying to pick out pieces like I want to have and, uh, and uh, tapping them on carefully. Uh, all over where I want to have it and the, you can do it like I do almost all over a uh, like full piece of project and uh, right now everything is really sticky for me it's like the flakes need to like stay on different places and when it's sticky you get like a little bit stick uh, uh, of the stickiness on the brush's end, but I don't use the, the brush side because I notice that the gilding glue sticks so well on the brush. So my advice to pick something flat. Then when I have almost like everything on the top, I'm tapping with my hand so Everything will fall in place and uh, using a little bit of the brush on some places. But you can see it uh, get really okay by tapping it. And if you have some places that the flakes doesn't go or it doesn't stay, put a little bit more gilding flakes and... Uh, Put on more, but I'm happy with the result. I didn't want to have any flakes on the teeth. Uh, 
or on the eyes, inside of the eyes. So I paint them black because I really want to have the black inside and on the teeth. And it looks really fun uh, when you have made this. And this is great because the skull will be like my focal point and it really catch eyes when, uh, when it's so gold. And now I'm using a tiny, tiny bit of uh, gesso. I'm dry brushing it on, on the teeth and on in the eyes to make like more dimensional effect and the teeth will show. Yes, we love, I love it. And now you can see I paint my wing like white and now I dry brushing my project. And on this way, when I do dry brushing, it, you see it shows the items will show much more better. The texture, the gears and everything shows really nice. And now when I have added some white on my project, it's so easy. And I can add like this liquid acrylic paint and I start with sienna because then you have like white parts uh, where the color will stay. But the liquid acrylic paint will not show on black. But if you add some white and you can dry brush much more or less, depends how much you want the color to be. Here I want like a dark, more grungy background, so I haven't dry brush so hard on my project. And also spraying some water on it. And if I think I have too much water, I'm tapping it off with a paper towel or uh, a baby wipe. And yeah, I'm playing around and now I have a little bit more here and I have picked a little bit of the orange, tiger orange, a little bit here and there to make like a shading. I really love the brown, but here I wanted to have a little bit of the orange because this project is so dark. So it really gets almost like rusty, but I wasn't for the rusty effect on this project. A little bit more extra, so the orange made it. And I go over with the burnt sienna one more time to get like more intense brown on some places here and there. Yeah, and when everything is dry, I'm thinking a little bit what uh, you should do next. And I need to get like uh, extra color. And then we have the new matte wax, a uh, faded denim from Finnabare. And I had like a stiff brush and I add them like into some gaps near the brushes. And I start with the faded denim. I have also a baby white or so you can paper towel and I pull a little bit of the wax off but you need to be work really quickly here when if you add uh, the wax because it's dry really fast. Here I have the sage leaves and I'm adding here also and I'm adding it near the composition not go all over only nearby the brushes so it will not be too messy look. And tapping a little bit uh, off, uh, it's not necessary to do that, it's uh, your choice. Okay, it's time for a little bit more of the gold flakes and I want to add it a little bit here and there. So I'm adding the, uh, uh, the gilding uh, glue on some places, not all over the project, like here and there, because I want the gold 
looks like it had been underneath perhaps sometimes uh, on this project. So the gold will show on some places here and there on the project. And no perfection, only like some flakes on some uh, places. And the gold, isn't it? It's a really eye catcher. So please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That I should appreciate. It helps the channel to get watch and more can watch this video. So please watch the video, leave a comment. I read all the comments. So let me know what you think and about the project and uh, yeah, subscribe if you like the channel, of course, and click the bell button uh, to don't miss any notifications. So yeah, but give the thumbs up, please. Okay, I'm gluing and you see I'm start to get finished. I have the frame and adding a shipboard piece on the skull and now I'm adding the sage leaves. Oh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I also add a little bit blue uh, so it will be like a little bit uh, lighter around my skull to give him like extra focal point. I was thinking of a sentiment on a title, but perhaps I will give this away and uh, the, then I can add a title because it depends who will, uh, will have it. Now I'm using a baby wipe and I'm wiping off on the top. So it will stay much more in the gaps and it's so beautiful. Now I have also added a little bit of the some sisal in the background and I go over with a touch of the burnt sienna one more time to give uh, extra shadow on some places and it really it really looks grungy and a little bit dirty and that's exactly how I want. And because I was adding a little bit more burnt sienna and also some tiger on orange and I also added that on the flakes. So it really gives uh, the flakes a little bit more like other dimension, like other color. And you see, I go with the tiger orange all over my project. And that is like dry brushing or highlighting with the orange. And uh, it looks amazing. So I'm typing off if it gets too much water. And uh, I really like it. So on different places. And of course, now everything needs to dry so the composition and all things have been uh, have been dry but i'm trying to wipe off the excess so it only will where the color will like stay more in the gaps but on some places in the top So you can do this until you are happy and take uh, care of your brushes. And most of all, if you play with this new uh, winter release, uh, molds with gears and uh, different items. And uh, you see, I'm adding also a new butterfly the scrapyard butterfly and a little bit of uh, wax on the top so it will match my composition. Hope you have enjoyed this video and try something. Give uh, the channel some love. And if you get inspiration of this, please tag me Katya 
or mess a note scapar on uh, Instagram. Yeah, tag us and Finnabar Studio so we can see if you get the inspiration. And take care and much love to all of you. Bye bye.